All right, we're going to try to do this. So hi, I'm Zach Collier, and today I would like to give a quick introduction of Cozy. Cozy is a cryptographic JSON messaging specification designed for human re readability. Um, so I'm hoping this records, right? Uh, this is an example, Cozy, and let's take this. We have a verifier that uh, is on Cyber.me that anyone can use. So we'll just paste in the example JSON message from the website, hit verify. Uh, the application retrieves the key uh, that was used to sign the message and uh, verifies that it was actually signed by that key. Pretty cool. So let's do this again, except for let's make a new message. So we'll say, hello, friend and say, I want to cryptographically sign this and send it over the web and whoever's on the other side or however many people are on the other side, we want to make sure that they can uh, verify that I was the one that signed it. Uh, so we have this convenience button on this application that just puts it in a, a message, in a JSON message for you. Uh, then we can take this and put it in the top and hit verify. And it says, yeah, it's valid. Um, it is uh, signed by my key. So. Real quick, we'll look over the fields. All Cozy, uh, everything that Cozy signs is inside of uh, Pay um, in the JSON message. So Cozy's are signed brace to brace. So everything inside of uh, Pay gets signed. The first field uh, is the message, hello friend. Uh, the algorithm uh, field tells us what algorithm was used to sign the message. IAT is the time that it was signed at. Uh, thumb. Uh, is the key that was used to uh, sign the message. And then type is a signifier for applications to know what the format of the message was. Uh, all cozy fields are optional. So none of these fields are required, but they are suggested, suggested because it helps applications know how to handle these messages. <laughs> so as I said before, it is signed uh, brace to brace. Everything inside of pay is signed. And then outside of that, we have the, the cryptographic signature. Uh, which is just a base 64 encoded message. So that is cozy uh, briefly, and we'll make more videos about the rest of it.